page. My name is Grace Ahmed, and today I'm here with varsity soccer coach, Mr. Sarah. So, Mr. Sarah, tell us what are your expectations for this upcoming season? I never really give any sort of numerical answer to that question. All I can really talk about is what I expect from my players, and I expect a team that's going to be focused, hardworking, uh, and motivated for the best they can every game. Uh, but I expect no less than that. Well, speaking of your players, what characteristics do you think your captains have this year? The captains and the leaders are all different in different ways. Um, you know, I know with Osama Mustafa, the, the lead captain, so to speak, you know, he's very tough, very physical, not scared to stand up for his teammates. And he's one of those guys who, even if he loses the ball, you feel that he will get it back. You know, he's very, a very proud player, so to speak. John Wagner, defensive captain, one of the defensive captains. He's one of those guys who he can play anywhere in the field, and he has, and he's just old reliable, as you could say. He's always been able to get things done for us, no matter where we put them, without complaint, always trying to do whatever his team needs. And Alexis Aguilar, you know, was really taking over in the summer, because Osama went away. He really stepped up this year, you know, he moved from being in the center of the midfield to going on defense, because we needed some help back there, and he's kind of made that role his own right now. And he's another one of those tough, you know, proud players who really wants to see what his team and what was what what his team needs him to do. Other than the captains that you just mentioned and uh, Alexis uh, Gonzalez, are there any other key players that we really stand well, out? Alexis Gonzalez is actually one of the one of the key players. He's a an outside midfield player for us who played uh, who's been a four year well now a three year varsity player. He played for me freshman year, sophomore year. And I think this year he's recognizing that it's an opportunity for him to really succeed. We have his midfielder, Dhaman Veer Singh. Uh, he, he's played a few years of soccer also. You now he's really come a long way, uh, whereas in the past he made, maybe was a bit timid at times. He's really stepped up his physical game and has taken command in the midfield uh, more than I've seen him ever do in the past. And aside from that, it, it's really you know the other seniors who are on the field. Uh, Cesar Mejia doing a great job as a forward. Miguel uh, Capajamoso, who's a a player who started last year on defense and is now an outside midfielder playing opposite Alexis Gonzalez, who scored two goals and got an assist in our first game, just through hard work. And that's kind of the, the idea with this team is, you know, you have to work hard. That's expected of you, right? The results will come, but you have to keep on working hard. And those guys who are on the field are the hardest working players I have on the team. Right, um, you mentioned that uh, senior Miguel has actually changed his position. Yes. How do you think the new formation will help you guys in the upcoming games? Well, I, I kind of, tr I've always wanted to do a 3-5-2, which I'm doing right now. But I, I, I was kind of maybe a little scared too, apprehensive. Maybe the players weren't willing to do it. But this group of players are so focused on doing whatever it takes that they're, we've been doing it since the summer. Uh, we had a summer tournament in, in late June, and they've been rolling with it ever since. And as they get more experience with it, it'll be easier for them to roll with it. I think it covers up some of the smaller weaknesses it might have here and there, but it's a kind of formation that's based solely on team play. If one guy's out of position, it compromises the entire thing. And my players, I believe, are recognizing that. And do you plan to follow the same strategy as you did in game one? Things change depending on the opponent you play against, so I can't, I can't say anything. All I know is if we maintain the same effort as we did for the majority of the game, yes, I'll employ the same players out there and the same strategy. Uh, but again, what it really comes down to is what those guys in the field are doing. So strategy doesn't matter if the players aren't willing to or aren't able to do it. With these guys, I'm confident they're going to be willing and able to get things done for us. Well, thank you, sir. No problem at all. Perfect.